Good morning everyone. This is Sajan with you on Dog Training Web Series. Today I'll be explaining or demonstrating some of the good features on project management collaboration with Office 365 groups. Okay, now I know everyone has got an Office 365 account. We all have, right? There are like 55 million people using Office 365 in the US. But you know, 80% of them are just like confined to your, just using their emails, just opening and closing them up, deleting and that's it. But Office 365 has a lot more to offer. Uh, apart from the SharePoint Online, that's what we call as a doc. We have built a, you know, a ready-made internal portal solution out of Office 365 SharePoint Online. Now, what I'm going to explain to you is the Office 365 groups. Which is, which is already there on your Outlook. Uh, I mean, the Outlook, the web-based Outlook of Office 365. So I'm gonna go through it and I'm gonna show you what all what you'll be able to achieve with your team in terms of collaboration efforts, right? So as you see on my, this is my email, right? And on my left-hand side, there's a tab called Groups. So what all you need to do is go and click or create and start adding a new a group, right? So just call a name add a description you can also specify a privacy if you want to make it private or public and the language yeah obviously the language is there and then you can subscribe new members as they receive group conversations in the inbox and then you click on create you have a new group created so I've created team doc now I have 10 members in this team doc groups where I can just go ahead and start a new conversation so if I have something important to plan out with my team I just go ahead and I just click on the new conversation I just go ahead and post some of the requirements or whatever so you know I have two already two posts and good news is all my members who are present in this group they receive an email and also they get a notification yeah and they can act on it immediately so as simple as that so I don't have to waste time calling them like everything is already there in the uh, groups tab of the out, um, Office 365. So I'm just going to click on new conversation and then just show an example. Yeah, I'm sure everyone's going to be excited. So I click on send. Okay, so now this on the left hand side, on the left hand top, it, it shows it's a new one. So that's how it differentiates within the old post, posts, right? And everyone gets a notification, as something like that. Now, this is the conversations tab. Now, there's something called calendar, where all my meetings, everything is all there here on the calendar. Yeah, this is the same thing what we have for the Outlook. And, uh, so that's it. So I can go ahead and create a new calendar event or birthday event or you know anything I can do that. So it displays over here, right? So that's about the calendar. Now I go to files. Now when I go to files, it goes directly to the SharePoint interface. Obviously, you have a SharePoint online interface within your Office 365. And then that's my documents over here. And I can also share it. I mean, everyone has an access to it as well. They, they, all my 10 members, they have an access to this. I can also further share this to someone else. So by clicking on the share button. And the usual process, I can go ahead and add, I can invite people to this and they can get a you know, copy of this document. I can also get a link, right? I can also pin my favorite document as well, so it shows up over here, right? So that's about the documents tab. So I've covered the conversations, calendar, files. How about notebook? Let's go and click on that. Okay, now notebook is nothing but it's integrated with your OneNote, where you'll be able to, you know, in terms of let's talk about the project management point of view, since I mentioned about project management in the beginning, now, based on your projects or, you know, probably you have random meeting based on your projects and you need to track your meeting minutes or, you know, probably you had an R&D session or you need, now 
Now this is team doc notebook. So what we do is we have meeting minutes recorded. We have research, R and D, um, UI related discussions or future updates. So what I've done is I've created four tabs over here, and I can go ahead and you know track my meeting minutes over here. So as simple as that, right? I can even draw. You know, I can even record a voice note. So everything is there. So if you have a you know Surface or you have a tablet. This is going to be a great feature. You can go and jot down whatever you want. You can draw on it and have all your probably uh, what, whatever you need to record it for your team. Everything goes in in this team notebook, right? And what's next? So I've covered conversations, calendar, files, and notebook. Let's see what connectors has got to offer us. Now connectors is nothing but you'll be able to connect some of some of the applications with this group group site, right? Basically, so if you want, you can build a connector by yourself, or you know there are a lot of connectors that's available. So you can add or you know send and receive messages called tweets. So to Twitter, Trello, Bing News. So there are a couple of you know apps that's available within this. You also have Dynamics CRM, so you can link that as well. Google Analytics. So. There's a couple of them, you know, it's, it's all there. So you maybe you can just go ahead uh, and try it out today and, you know, kind of explore and, you know, see which is good for you, you know. So like that. So I also see there's MailChimp and, you know, some of the marketing applications also as well, like Bitbucket. Yeah, uh, MailChimp, right? So that's a marketing application. So you can, you know, add them here. So that's it. So that's about the project management collaboration with Office 365 groups. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is something that, you know, we all have to start using. You know, Microsoft offers a very good platform and I'm sure you need to leverage this feature. It's already there in your office. This uh, All you need to do is start using it. So good luck everyone. And I'm, I'm sure you're going to make a good use of it. And I'm going to come up with more and more videos in the future. So stay tuned. Have a great day.